Hi, do you all know diabetes is not a disease anymore? It's just a disorder of a glucose metabolism, which could be easily treated, identified, and could be kept under control before developing any complications. Hi, I'm Dr. Hari Prasad, Senior Consultant Physician Diabetologist at Apollo Fast Med Hospital, Chennai. So diabetes is a disorder of a glucose metabolism. So the basic defect here is a hormone called insulin. So the insulin deficiency and the insulin resistance, meaning insulin resistance, the insulin is there but doesn't work in the body. So this diabetes could be acquired or this could be genetic. Genetic, it could run in families. You could get it at 20 or 30 years of age. But again, acquired is very crucial, which I'm trying to talk about, which could happen because of a sedentary lifestyle or an increased high calorie dense diet. Urbanization is what we are trying to talk about. The more sedentary, the more sedentary the lifestyle we are leading and the more high dense calorie rich junk processed food which we are consuming gives it a pot potentially pushes us to a risk to develop diabetes in future. India is the second largest home for the adult diabetes worldwide. We have 73 million diabetic patients in the world and you know 25% of the Indian diabetic population is the metros. So getting diabetes in control and getting or preventing diabetes from getting into your system is very crucial. So the diabetic as such or a diabetes doesn't start all of a sudden. We start from a normal glucose tolerance phase. We move ahead to a pre-diabetic and then you become a diabetic. So there is a big gap before you become a diabetic. You still are a borderline diabetic for a few more years. And then that is a phase we can really catch you and then start you on some lifestyle modification, lifestyle measures to prevent the real onset of diabetes. Having spoken about some lifestyle modifications before that, I would also want to tell you about certain facts about diabetes. India is a lot different from the Western population. The Indians, the South Asian population where we stand, we are a lot different from the Western population. Indian diabetics have an early age of diabetic onset compared to the Western population. We have a larger degree of insulin deficiency in our body and also we have a larger degree of insulin resistance, meaning that we have insulin but doesn't work in our body. So moving forward to the lifestyle measures, the first and crucial thing which you're trying to talk about is your diet. And having said that, there are some studies, the Indian START study, which was done across India, be it the North India, South India, East and West, they found that the Indian diet had more than 65% of carbohydrates. What is allowed is only 30% of carbohydrates, but we consume close to 65% of carbohydrates in our diet. So making sure your diet is rich or a rich, balanced, nutritious diet is what is very, very important to keep a diabetes in check. So how do I start with very simple measures? You start eating, take a plate, fill your plate 75% with, with green vegetables, green leafy or colorful vegetables. Start with vegetables, starts with colorful tomatoes or beans or broccoli or uh, capsicum or whatever colorful diet, uh, carrots, whatever you want. Fill your plate with 75% with the green leafy vegetables. The remaining 25% make sure you can have some amount of protein. If you're going to be a non-vegetarian, you can include your chicken, you could, you could include your egg. And if you're going to be vegetarian, you could include your dal, you could include your beans, or you could include your pani. And the remaining 20%, 25%, you could even have some kind of a fat which could be a part of your diet. Again, including fresh fruits, which could be a peeled fruits. I'm not talking about fruit juices, a peeled fruits. Any peeled fruits like an apple, or again, it could be a, a papaya, like it could be an orange, it could be a goa. Any peeled fruits gives you all the fiber what you require in your body and gets your diet in check. And foremost important thing is about your timing of diet. Fix your timing of diet, which most of the Indian population do not care about. So fixing your diet is very important. Having an early dinner, be it between 7.30 to 8.30 would be the right time and you have two hours before your sleep time is very, very important. Making sure the glucose, whatever gets into the body, gets metabolized or starts breaking down before you could work on your diet. Again, long hours of fasting, again, to be avoided. You know why? because your liver is a storeroom for your body. So if you fast, you delay your food intake. What happens, the liver senses that this patient is going to, or this person is going to be in a fasting state and starts breaking down the glucose or the glycogen, which is stored in the liver into a glucose format and starts pushing into the blood. So this is called the hepatic or the liver glucose output. So there is a mismatch between the glucose, what you eat and what the liver pushes out. So making sure you fix your timing so your body metabolism is in rhythm so that you have have a proper cut across metabolism throughout the day and if you are a diabetic make sure regular blood checkups are done so that your blood glycemic levels are kept under control and make sure you stick on to your 
medications which are being given so that your blood blood sugar levels could be and checkups of the blood blood glucose levels either the fasting post prandial and three month average levels will really indicate where do we stand either with that that has to be adjusted or modified and having said that diabetes is a disorder which can progress over the years as you age the diabetes the insulin deficiency can also progress as aging happens having said that the first few years of onset after the onset of diabetes making sure the blood glucose levels are kept under control is very very important why it is researchers have clearly proven again and again diabetic onset and keeping the blood sugars out of control can initiate or can be an idea to start of the complications any kind of a micro macrovascular complications as we were, as we were taught, discussing could be an, uh, could be an onset and could lead to complications further down the line and so there is a point called a metabolic memory so what happens your body has a tendency to have a memory to make sure that the blood glucose levels if are under control the first 6 to 7 years it makes sure that the body registers that this patient has got a good glycemic levels and could prevent the onset of the complication at the early from the early levels thank you have a healthy life